Hey, Y'all probably thinking, Ilya, why are you so lively? I've been up for an hour. I originally woke up at 5.50. No alarm. Um, you're probably thinking, girl, what's going on? Why, why would you do that to yourself? I was supposed to go to a workout class with Madison this morning, but I woke up before my alarm because I guess I was just so giddy. And she texted me that she went to sleep at 3 and she was not trying to wake up at 6. So I was like, okay, cool. So we move who we're supposed to do to later today if I can get a spot. And what we're doing is supposed to go to a workout class. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I go through my morning routine of checking what's going on, my email, Twitter. And I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like getting up right now. I'm going to go back to sleep. Well, I went back to sleep for 45 minutes and woke up again at 7 something. I was like, oh, wait, that's more than 45 minutes. Like, I fell asleep for like another hour and like 15. And then I just been up since then. And I haven't gotten up because I haven't felt like it. My bed is so comfortable. I invested in a mattress topper recently. Not recently anymore. This was like weeks ago. My little like few month update. I love this thing. I think it makes a huge difference. My mattress before this was pretty firm. I kind of grew out of not caring about how my mattresses felt but instead of spending thousands of dollars on a new mattress i was like you know what let's just get the 25 dollar topper off amazon and that's what i did and now i'm happy that i did because my bed is so comfortable it has the little cooling effects to it i also got new pillows i got new sheets it's just the whole thing i think my bed is the only thing that i feel like is 100 percent done in my room that dresser i don't even know if you can see it that dresser is not staying when there's nothing but boxes and laundry in this room so i need to figure out something asap because i'm ready for this room to be done but anyway hi good morning how we doing today i had a bunch of not a bunch i'm being a little dramatic but i had some things that i wanted to do today then i looked out the window looked like hurricane katrina was going through my city and i usually don't like to vlog when it rains but now that i have a weather sealed camera i'm not scared of shit. is there anything else i should update them on before i get up oh i know i got a new camera <laughs> So it's a new photography and videography camera and I used it to film this video right here. I was like, okay, this camera's great. It's a little heavy, but it's great. So what did I do? Get a secondary vlogging camera. So I'm using my first secondary vlogging camera today and I'm so excited. This thing is so tiny and so lightweight. The quality she's eating. It's not as amazing as the other one. If the other one's a 10 out of 10, I give this like a 9 or 8.7 out of 10. <laughs> Just spilled my water all over the floor. How about you? I need a towel, Jesus, Lord, please. <laughs> Hi, we're back again. I think it's very much hoodie. Is it giving hoodie, guys? I think it's giving hoodie between the rain, the cold weather, all that. I think I think it's giving hoodie. And I pulled my essentials hoodie out of the vault. I've rebought this hoodie like three months ago. Why is it still black? Is I don't know what. I hate when I get clothing pieces in the color fades, but I stopped putting my black clothes in the dryer. And when I tell you, my life has never been the same since. I love how black this still is so i definitely want to wear this today and then since it's pretty chill outside it's giving very much leggings is it giving legging i think it's giving legging so we're gonna wear some leggings but those are in my room so i'm not gonna grab right now but the problem is i'm not anemic or nothing but one thing about me i'm gonna get cold now if i wanted to be extra I could throw on a flannel but i don't think i'm gonna do that i have this jacket from pretty little thing that i bought over the summer and i just never wore it I hate this zipper on this jacket so much this jacket from pretty little thing is in a medium so it's kind of big anyway i kind of wish i got it in the small because it would fit how it's supposed to but i think the extra space will come in handy with this because these hoodies are bulkier in my humble opinion leggings this hoodie this jacket i don't know what shoes i would wear as much as i love the cold weather in a ugg i'm not wearing no uggs today baby no uggs today mama i don't know what it is but i remember when uh, Twitter was having their hygiene, hygiene battle. battle. People were discussing if they brush their teeth before or after breakfast. And if you're ever wondering, I'm very much a before breakfast type of girl. I don't know who might have told you otherwise, but every time I vlog, y'all know that I be brushing my teeth and all that before I, which McCauley, before I what? Before I 
eat breakfast because I don't like the taste of morning breads on anything. It's quite frankly one of the things that bothers me the most. I'm going to change because this is not that type of website and I will be right back in like two seconds. Not even. I got my new contacts. In. I actually went to the eye doctor when was that? Last week and I got a retest and I got my new prescription um contact lenses. I use the Precision One One Day Contact Lenses. Anybody who uses the monthly contacts, you're strong. Uh, these produce a lot of waste, so I'm aware, but these are more for my eyes, so not too much. Time to find out. I was over here bugging. I'm about oh yeah, my eyes haven't changed, my eyes haven't changed, da, da, da. Why are both of my eyes dropped down a level or two from when I could last see? Because this is my left eye, and before it was a negative five. Yes, I cannot see. Now... Oh, baby. And then before, I think I was like a negative 4 point something, 4.25, 4.0, whatever, for my right eye. Oh, honey. Next time, I'm going to shut up and just do what I have to do because, girl, there's just no reason that my eyes are just progressively getting worse. Like, every time I go, I'm like, oh, yeah, my eyes are exactly the same as they were, like, last year, two years ago. I'm putting these in for the first time since I got them two days ago, so I don't know how much better my vision's about to be. Let me put them in first before I keep chatting. I just washed my hands so I can put these in. I did, in fact, put on lotion, and I don't want lotion in my eye. Kapari, love you, but we don't need to be that close. Oh my god! Everything's so clear! <gasps> the woman was too stunned to speak. Never gonna doubt the eye doctor again, now are we? <laughs> Makeup, I wanted to give you guys some Twilight reading updates. So I'm still reading the first Twilight book. Come for somebody who watched the movies first. I was really young when they first came out. My mom was not going for me watching that as a child. I don't know about y'all, my mom didn't let me or my siblings watch like very much for good reason because a lot of stuff that was on TV was just not appropriate besides like Disney, but whatever. And if my mom told me to do something as a child, I was gonna listen. A lot of people that I know and are friends with, they're like, yeah, our parents didn't want us watching this, but so but I did it anyway. And I'm just like, why create conflict when I could just chill and be eight years old in peace? I remember when Twilight came out, I was super young and all my cousins and stuff were into it. My older sister, She's like 30 plus. That type of stuff that she thoroughly enjoyed was like Harry Potter and like The Hunger Games. But she was like an adult when The Hunger Games came out. Like my sister was like 20 years old and I was like 10. And I was still tapped in. I remember the first time I watched Hunger Games with my older sister and my life literally changed. But that's not the point because we're talking about Twilight. When Twilight came out, I was a very, very, very young child. I was four or five. Four, five or six, one of them. Girl, I didn't really care who was Team Edward, Team Jacob. I was in the second grade. Was I in the second grade? Probably. I watched Twilight for the first time like last summer, the entire series, and I had the time of my life and I finally understood what everybody was talking about and discussing and I love the movies now. They're not good. You can like movies that aren't good. We're gonna talk about Five Nights at Freddy's in a second. And the reason I bring this up is because I've been very open about how I'm reading Twilight for the first time and da 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 And a lot of people are like, we need to know your opinions, da da da. And I feel like we wanna talk about it in this video, so I got this comment yesterday because somebody said the Jacob slander that I put out is insane. I don't like either of them. Let's start there. I don't know what it is, but Miss Bella, I think she should've just bonded with Charlie the entire time she was there. Don't ever think Edward Cullen will never get his lashing. Stalker, obsessed, manipulative. I, I know Edward's not good either. I promote Bella moving back to Arizona. My sister, be free. Stephanie Meyer's a sick woman. I will always say that but I thoroughly enjoy the movies. But since we're on the topic of fun movies that aren't necessarily good, I am in fact going to dig into Five Nights at Freddy's real quick. So I'm not really open about little weird interests that I have, but I have in fact been interested in Five Nights at Freddy's for some time now. And I remember when they announced the movie, I was a preteen, early teen with a dream. The movie coming out, kind of reignited that little flame that I once had for the movie and let me just say girl we're in the darkest pits of hell when i talk about five nights at freddy's you know the meme where the guy is like that's what i look like talking about five nights at freddy's so when it came to watch the movie i watched it with my sister my boyfriend and we watched it at home because i don't know about y'all but i kind of like the dual movie release type of thing that they did because they had it on streaming and in theaters so if you wanted to be at home without the concept or chance that somebody walked into a theater and just that's the American way of life. Here are my thoughts 
people in the movie that nobody really asked for, but I'm gonna give to you anyway. As somebody who's a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, I like the movie. I gave it like a three star. The only reason I gave it a three star because I didn't expect the movie to go down the way it did. As a non-fan, you're not going to like that movie because they don't tell you anything about the lore. Like, they kind of just unload everything at you all at once. It's like, girl, what is going on? Like, this is just a mess. What is going on here? And there's this whole thing with critics and fans and da-da-da. And I'm like, guys, movie ratings are always subjective. Nobody's ever going to have the same feeling on movies. So I don't know why we believe critics half the time. They get paid for their opinions, but that doesn't mean that a movie is good or bad to you. I like Twilight. I know it's not good, but I enjoy it. But a critic is probably like, oh, Twilight is awful and I hate it. We have to get past people invalidating our feelings towards media, please. Because once we do, everybody will be happier. Overall, I'm just gonna say, I gave Five Nights at Freddy's a three out of five stars, even though I enjoyed it because it's not necessarily good, but as a fan, it was fun. They did a lot of fan service. I'm convinced they made the movie for the fans. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Just about the little Easter eggs and just the little moments, sayings, graphics, things that were said, the lore, like it's for the fan. Like it's definitely fan service. Just like how they made um, American Horror Story Apocalypse. American Horror Story Apocalypse is nothing but fan service. The idea, the concept was there, but if you just wanted to do a coven part two, baby, just say that. Like, come on, everybody, there are two, two of their best seasons, Coven Murder House. If y'all wanted to do an adaptation and collab of those two, you didn't have to do it in Apocalypse, but you did that because your fans wanted it. If you look at Apocalypse objectively and you're not a big American Horror Story fan, you're gonna think it's ass because kinda it. Same thing applies to Five Nights at Freddy's. If you're not a big fan, Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna like it because they made it for the fans. Corey Kenshin, Matt Pat, all the people who made the community super involved and really big. And if you don't know that, it's like, who are these random people screaming at me in my face? We're in the car. <laughs> uh, well, I just drove in the car. Y'all constantly ask me, do you have a P.O. box? Do you have a P.O. box? Do you have a P.O. box? And I haven't had a P.O. box in about, ooh, I'm gonna say three years. I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead, open a P.O. box, and then top it off when I be sending y'all stuff from Depop. I have no address to put on it because y'all are the best, but I don't really want to put my address on something like that. So I'm gonna get a P.O. box. So if you guys want to send me things or you're a small business, want me to review stuff, I'm to buy it from you, but I mean, you have the opportunity to just send me whatever now. I'm about to head in here and open a P.O. box. I don't remember what this process was really like because last time I did it, my stepdad took me to do it. And since I wasn't 18, his was the actual name that was on the P.O. box. But when you mailed me stuff, it'll still go to that P.O. box. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like P.O. boxes and just the art of having access to people via a physical address just kind of vanished and I want to feel more connected to you guys. So if you guys ever want to send me items, letters, anything, or if you just want to put weird stuff in there, not too weird. Damn girl, how many times you gonna beat this? I have my car station in the car. Yeah. Okay. I'll go grab that. Oh, did not know you needed two forms of ID. Ew, I don't know if y'all heard that. That was disgusting. Hey, pretty lady. I'm young enough to be your daughter, sicko. This is it. Perfect. Okay, registration. We have a PO box! If you guys ever want to send me something i will put the address on the screen and then of course in my description box down below so you guys always have access to it they return you anything from depop or you want to send me a letter like i said before i'm not going through that whole spiel again but if you ever want to send me anything at all feel free i will check it very frequently or when they text me that i have stuff and yeah i really do appreciate you guys wanting me to get back into this i think it's time to treat myself to something a little nice think about me i am going to treat myself i love a good treat i love something sweet y'all know this about me and i think we should go somewhere that we have not been in a very long time i don't even know if i vlog the times that i've been to this place i don't know if you ever heard of this place called share tea share tea is a boba place i want some boba i haven't had boba in so long and my thing is i love doing stuff with my friends and going out and getting treats and things like that but why are none of my friends like boba so every time i'm like guys can we get boba they're like Aaliyah, ew no nobody wants boba it's just you no need to get hasty guys calm down so we're gonna go get boba today aka we're gonna go downtown i haven't been downtown in a very like long time and like spent time up there so if i'm going up there it's gonna be for a reason i'm not just gonna go for one thing because one that's a waste of gas i have to pay for gas i'm not gonna be wasting it just to go get boba two there's a university location for charity but i lucky wanted to go to the record store too just to see what they had wow 
Such a cute angle, girl. Why is there so many people at this QT, girl? Is there even a gas pump open? I can't even get into that one, no! <laughs> Let me get my gas Passion bin regular ice and 50% sweetness. Our new drink today is the mango and passion fruit green tea. Regular ice, 50% sweetness. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Green tea? Bad girl. Y'all have a good one. Thank you. I know people usually go to like both places to get like milk tea. But don't knock their regular like fruit teas until you try them because they're actually really f good. I'm sorry, but share tea is just that. Bitch. If you've never been to share tea here in Charlotte, you can go to the one downtown on Central Ave. You can go to the one University. The share tea in downtown, excellent customer service is so good. This entire thing, seven dollars. Does this have caffeine in it? Hey Siri, does green tea have caffeine in it? Caffeine is in tea, coffee, chocolate, many soft drinks, and pain relievers and other over-the-counter medicines and supplements. That's not what I asked. Does green tea contain caffeine? Did you just hang up on me? Does green tea contain caffeine? Oh. Does green tea contain caffeine? Green and black tea both contain caffeine, a known stimulant. Okay, girl. See, girl. I hate wearing bags with big puppy coats like Neoma! I don't plan on buying anything. I just want to look. Um, famous last words. word bar for bar i'm not buying anything don't don't be mad at me girl if you saw this cover wouldn't you want to buy it too the holographic background are you kidding are you kidding me the cover oh she made me want to buy not gonna lie yeah if you're a part of the acu in any way you may know of somebody on my account named jx aquarius j aquarius has been harassing me for months i'm not even kidding when i say months about trying this i guess it's a sandwich plate um and it's called pot belly and that was okay the reason i came downtown because i was like i'm not gonna go just to get a sandwich i'm gonna do some other stuff that's why we got boba that's why we went to the record store got something nice you know not crazy it's gotten to the point where me and jay have spoken multiple times and it's getting to the thread jay this is for you we're gonna be trying pot belly today when it's giving i go visit my boyfriend on his lunch break today because i haven't done that in a while i think i'm gonna get him a sandwich too he doesn't know that yet jay this is for you but there's a fedex truck behind me you ain't tell me i get out of here i don't think i can get out that's what i get for running my mouth i might be able to get out of here like they seen my brake lights on I don't want to go into the crack. Oh, sh okay. Let's 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 put you down for a second. I can get out of here. We all know I'm an amazing driver, so I don't even know why I'm trying to discredit myself. I just get out of here. Absolutely, I love a three-point turn, baby. Okay, wanted to go to the Salvation Army. That's on 
Central Ave because I hear it's really good. Like, well, let me not say it's really good. It's like a hit or miss type of place, but I'm not, I'm not sure. If you ever been, please let me know. Or if you know anybody that's been, please let me know. Let me know if they liked it, this, that, and the third, and maybe I'll go. I was gonna go thrifting, do the whole thrifting boba thing, but no, nah, I don't need to be doing all that. <laughs> I doubled up on the jacket side because why the wind is winded a little bit. So, tucking my, tucking my hands. It's a little cold now. I tried to turn onto one of the streets, but they didn't. They had like a no turn bullshit for no reason, even though it was a two way road. I would do the cute little like put the phone down so you can see me walking, but I would have to like set my camera up and go back, and it's too cold for that. If I had a videographer, maybe, but right now, no. Am I here? I'm gonna do an original red. I got an original red from a white over I'll go white and then can I also get a skinny Italian on white too? <laughs> How are you today? Good. The Italian, can I add mayo and lettuce? And then on that red, can I add mayo and lettuce, Italian seasoning, oil. I've seen like one YouTube video and then I was like, she's literally right I appreciate you for watching and tuning in. Good, how are you? I do photography, videography, YouTube. Let me show you. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. And then my Instagram is linked on here too if you need anything. Thank you, are you sure? Thank you so much, I appreciate y'all, thank you. You too. Hello? Okay. Okay. I... He's real. This man back here saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, God, it's so real. So I just went to Pop Belly for the first time, and one of the workers there noticed me talking about something. Oh, that's you, girl, that's a hi. And I went to go pay, and she not yelled, but kind of stated like across, like, oh no, she's good. No way she's about to give me these two sandwiches for free. Why they gave me the two sandwiches for free? Sandwiches free aside, y'all are so nice to me in person. A lot of y'all do live here, and I think it's so sweet when y'all are at work. I love meeting y'all on the clock, off the clock, on every block, all of it. Shout out to her, because my pot belly is free today, so love that for me. I was gonna get more shots inside, so I could like put it in the vlog and everything but it's gonna start raining in like a few minutes and I'm not trying to get dead out, get caught dead out here without any umbrella because I didn't bring one for some reason and it's still freezing. Thank you for holding it down, Cookie. I just feel like if I'm gonna buy any meal of the day, it's gonna be lunch. Like, why would it not be lunch? Times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to Run like that to shop like this in a matter of time I spent on some locked up shit. Y'all, I've never been one to like get the newest phones every time they come out, like ever. But it's my first time buying my own phone. My mom still pays my phone bill. No shade. My mom will always pay my phone bill. She's made that so clear to me because more people on the account, the cheaper each line is. So when a new phone comes, I'll be trading in the one that I have now which is a 13 pro and the only reason i ended up ordering a new phone was because i have like a really bad battery like lifespan and i called apple and i was like okay how much to get this battery fixed why to fix why 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 to fix the phone it costs more than what the phone is worth they told me that shit and i was so i would i was so mad like i almost i almost didn't even know what to do with myself so i said it, just get the new phone because there's no reason that I'm paying how much the phone is worth to get it fixed. Our new phone last night, and this is my first time buying a phone um, for me. Mom will always pay that bill, but I will buy my phone from now on. I can't with Apple's antics because what do you mean this phone is two years old and the battery's given out? But you would think the more that they make, the better the quality will be of the phone, but whatever. Before I start jamming out, I just wanted to say I recently posted like a spa night routine video, and I was actually getting like I was answering a lot of you guys like more personal questions in that video and I was, well I was answering questions but giving more like personal 
in like deeper answers to your questions i don't know but i just want to say i appreciate you guys for all the love um that you guys gave me on that video for everybody who watched it because i didn't think much of my responses when i was um like filming it or editing it i just thought it was like a regular little q a getting in front of you sorry you guys were really sweet and i appreciate you guys for talking to me i always love when you guys comment on videos because honestly that's the whole reason i started social media was to connect with oh oh my god have y'all ever seen when two people try to get over at the same time but the person in the back goes over faster than the person in the front that was hit each other i see that so much here i came to say social media i started youtube to connect with people and meet people i really do enjoy connecting with not even just creators but with y'all because i initially started this to make friends and connect with people so i i love connecting with y'all on like a personal level i feel like it's hard to find a one fits all type of like person i like that we're able to connect on similar things even if it's not everything between hobbies thought processes feelings stages in life like it doesn't have to be a one size fits all and i like that we're not all exactly the same type of person like you guys are so unique to me i don't know everybody's unique but specifically y'all because i feel like so many different kinds of people follow me and watch me i think it's so cool i appreciate y'all for allowing me to use my platform to connect with y'all Bring it closer. Ah! We used to got them like combined like chips. Like when we got chips, How like damn, I want chips, and then he was like, I want some of your chips. He's like, I want some of your chips. So we <laughs> have I ever said that you had a gun on here? You bit it without me. You bit by it. You got pepperoni on here. Ain't no one pepperoni on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Mm, this is his sandwich, except I added mayo and lettuce. I like yours more than I like mine. This is a bang, I'm not gonna hold you. You got me meat lovers, yo. <laughs> That's not the name of it. <laughs> Why you say it like that? Then? Cause they were like, perfect for meat lovers. <laughs> I was like, oh. Look, look. <laughs> Thank you. So we be going out. It's good. It's we be going out, right? And usually, oh fuck, I'm on camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my finger. <laughs> when one of us wants two things, we'll just get both and then figure it out. And I hate when I want something and it tastes better than what he got because the rest of the meal, he'll look at me like I killed his dog. Like he wants it. Hot belly, I'm not gonna lie. I would give y'all about an eight. The only reason it's not a nine is because it's not accessible. Why I gotta pay for park and I go visit? Um, yeah, I bet. You do content creation? Yes. Yeah. I figured. <laughs> You're really pretty. Thank you. I'm over here thinking that Publix is my last stop for the day. This, that, and the third. Why did I literally forget it's Halloween? And I got no candy for them kids. I didn't want to stop at Target in this another video, but damn. I think we're gonna have to go to Target, guys, because I'm gonna feel awful if kids come to my door. And I have the candy bags to like make the little bags, but I just I just never bought the candy. So we're gonna go to Target real quick, see what they have. I, thankfully, it's before four, so like it's only 3.46. Let's go to Target. I do this every video, and I, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to go to Target every single video, but there's only so much you can do. Oh my god, I'm ready to take my shoes off! That little... What time is it? Four to six. Drowsiness? No joke. I came in, sat down. I literally came in, put the groceries down. Didn't even put them away. Where's my truck? I want to take a nap really bad. But I'm gonna feel bad if kids come and everything. And I could just put stuff out there and just leave it, but I don't feel like doing all that. We're gonna do a very slight grocery haul just so I can put this stuff away. First, I have to get some more milk because I almost used all of it this morning when I made breakfast. Sorry I keep pushing my hair behind me. It just, these braids just like to fly everywhere. I don't wanna tuck them behind my ears because that's weird, but anyway. 
I'm just gonna have to say that for right now. I got some spaghetti noodles because I wasn't sure if we had some at home. Some goldfish, chicken broth. Let's I also got a thing of chuck brown beef. It's a pound, 1.13 pounds. Also decided to get two snacky things. I got some Ritz Fresh Stacks and then of course, some honey buns because my period's about to start and I need sweet things. If I was being smart and not on the phone giggling with my sister at Target, I would've checked for some Biscoff ice cream because I don't think I have any left. I have two left. Three left? Oh Lord, I have two left. I like the white ones. Apparently y'all didn't know that they had Biscoff ice cream. Don't go wrap it up my Target now because if you do, we're gonna have to tussle. That'd be the only thing that I want on my period besides Popeye six piece ghost pepper wings, large fry, frozen mega lemonade. That's anything, that's all I want on my period, please. Please don't ruin it for me, please. I then decided to get some watermelon. I need fruit, I haven't had fruit in days. Like, oh my gosh, girl. If you're making lasagna soup, I had to get some ragu sauce. I prefer the traditional one just because I don't like tomato chunk in my sauce, no matter if it's like spaghetti, ziti, lasagna, none of that. I don't like tomato chunks. Like I'll eat tomatoes, but not in my food. I'll eat cherry tomato tomatoes and sliced tomatoes, but like if I get a burger with tomato, I'm gonna take tomato off, eat it, and then eat my burger. Like I, I just can't eat it with certain stuff. I decided to get some onions for the lasagna soup. And then I also got some ricotta cheese for the lasagna soup. Pomegranate seeds. This has actually become one of my favorite snacks in the past couple months. And it's not even that they're filling. They just, I feel like they make me feel like what cranberries should make me feel like. I don't know what the science is behind pomegranates and women's health, but I feel like this is what cranberries are supposed to make me feel like. I like these. I mean, I'm gonna still take my daily probiotic, whatever, but I really love pomegranate seeds. I also got two things of sliced cheese, because one thing about me, I love a cheese and cracker. I don't think y'all know this, but I love a good hors d'oeuvre, finger food, appetizer, meatballs, cheese, crackers, fruit, salami, charcuterie boards, all that. I love it. So I got some sharp cheddar slices and then some Kobe Jack slices. When you buy the little kits that like come with the crackers and the cheese and the grapes and the pretzels, they be like $4 and it's given preschool sized meal. I'm 21 years old. I'm too big to be buying stuff like that. So I might as well just make them ahead of time if that makes sense so I can make them at home and it saves a lot more money. Finally, I got a thing of Parmesan string cheese. I wasn't sure if it's backwards, Parmesan string cheese. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need that or not, but lasagna usually has Parmesan cheese on it and I didn't know if I wanted to use grated or not. So I just got that one. Show you the candy I got. I got this chocolate assorted kind of candy with a few starbursts in here, so it's not all chocolate. I also got some Skittles. Wow. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. I'm about to put these groceries away. Make probably about 12 bags for trick-or-treaters and then lay down. And then hopefully I can take a nap and be up by seven, maybe even 6.30, because it's 5.15 now. Like when I tell y'all I was sitting there for a little minute, I was for real. I know that working out and moving around and getting active and stuff like that definitely helps with you feeling alert and stuff like that, but y'all know I have a gym membership. We working into it. You guys keep asking me for workout videos, like beginner workout videos. My thing is, if I just got the membership not even five vlogs ago, what make you think I feel comfortable advising you on how to work out and what I'm doing, girly pop? All I'm doing is going to the classes, occasionally starting today, going and like walking on the treadmill and doing laps around the track. I'm very much in my, I just need to get up and go. Not necessarily have a goal, but I have a goal. My goal is to get up and go. If a class makes me get up and go, I'm doing good. If me walking on the track that's in the gym is doing it, let's do it. You guys keep asking me for workout videos. Guys, I just started. <laughs> I love you to death. But I just want to tell you, um, I'm not that comfortable with fitness and health. And then it's just, I literally just started. But there's a bunch of other people on YouTube who do like workout stuff. But everybody keeps asking me like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's do the workout, the gym videos, gym videos. What are you doing? I go to classes and go home. It's a few hours later. I did, in fact, not take a nap. What I've been doing, nothing. Watching Lil Simsy content. But we knew this already. It's the afternoon. Y'all know how I get down. I'm catching up on her legacy. Ch you, don't, you don't care. You don't care. It's about that time of night. It's about 8, 11. And I would ideally like to be in the bed by 10. And it's given not going to the gym tonight. See, AKA, I'm going to get in bed at a reasonable hour, unlike last night. Because I think I got in bed at, like, what, midnight? 12, 15? I was tired. And you know how you're tired sometimes? And then... You're too tired to get up and do your night routine, brush your teeth, wash your face, wash your ass, 
all that. She did it though. I still I did still it though. Did it. I did not want to do that, but I still did it. And I still prospered because I woke up at 5.50 by myself this morning. So what does that say about me? My circadian rhythm is just... Your what? Circadian rhythm. Remember those little candy bags I made? Kids making no noise in the neighborhood. Not, I haven't seen a single child walk up and down this neighborhood since I got home. It's giving... You bringing them to work. I'm giving them to my friends that behave when I see them because it's not like they were expensive, but like, what happened? The kids don't do Halloween this year. I think it's about that time where I go ahead and make dinner just because it's a new recipe. And I honestly was gonna start this at like seven so the kitchen could be clean, all that by like 8.30. And she forgot. Why, let, let me speak my truth. While I was sitting here twiddling my thumbs and I was like, oh, I gotta cook. Lasagna soup. What's so important about lasagna soup? Lasagna. The noodles. Why did y'all let me buy them spaghetti noodles instead of the lasagna noodles? They didn't do that. You did it. And I know some of y'all are probably typing, girl, how you gonna make lasagna soup with spaghetti noodles? So I sent him to the store. I'm not gonna show you because he's tired, but they got enough of you earlier. Yes? They got what? Enough of you? Oh, no, nah, I mean, I'm cool and I got a haircut. Girl, boo. Sent him to the store to get the lasagna noodles and we got them. And this honestly doesn't seem that hard. You're basically making spaghetti. Then you just pour heavy whipping cream and broth in it and then boil the noodles in that. The potato soup that I made, the hardest part about it was cutting up the potatoes. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. Also, I was watching back this footage. I'm sorry if the audio was wonky this entire video. I was trying to see if this mic on this camera was good built in and I had the wrong setting on so I hopefully it gets better but I have a mic um I don't like I said in my spot on video I don't want to switch up too many settings in the middle of a video that's techy it feels inauthentic I'm not doing all that it takes extensive research to set up a camera I've had this camera for about a week now like I'm still learning it I can't believe I was like you know what F it I'm very much taking on the F it just get into stuff you don't have to be perfect at it as soon as you get it it's definitely given my early YouTube days you know what's so funny at my first YouTube video I didn't know how to like jump cut like you know how when a video cut to like the next thing so like i'll cut out like a um why when i first filmed my very first video i would just stop and start the video clip anytime i was done when i was talking so i was like hi you guys welcome to a new video and i would stop it and then i'll start it again so i need to say we've come such a long way a few moments later the way i just lied to you because why i'm going to the gym <laughs> come on we gotta we gotta get better somehow we have to improve our lives somehow mama come on girl for this in today's video i this isn't sponsored <laughs> this is not a sponsored integration it would have been within the first five minutes before we get any further in today's video i wanted to say one i did end up going to the gym but i could have sworn that i said i wasn't going to go and then i still ended up going claps for Aaliyah. claps for the effort let's hear it oh yes thank you so much i love it thank you you don't have to but i also felt as if i kind of owed you guys the recipe because we went grocery shopping for it i've been saying i wanted to make it all day and then i turned around and didn't make it because my period started i wasn't feeling good and i got home pretty late so i didn't want to cook but here i am the day after filming this video ready to film this for you guys in order to make it up for you this is going to be a special episode of cooking with Aaliyah. we're going to be putting my new camera to use and it's given very much cinematography let's cook let's do all this rah-rah and i'm very excited for you guys to tune in let's go ahead and start making this very viral lasagna soup recipe that everybody is making right now
y'all look at the snot running down my bowl. It's time to taste test. In my bowl, we have the very famous TikTok lasagna soup. You wanna come say hello? I have my counterpart here. Taste test it with me. We have it topped with ricotta cheese and some parsley. Okay. It passed the sound test. You gonna take a bite without me? Fly up. Wonderful. It just tastes like ZD. It's good, but it just tastes like ZD. The way people were talking about it, you would think it was the most sippy pie Italiano Italian eggs propaganda I've ever seen. Mm. Second one. I just feel like it's a lot of extra work because when you make ZD, you essentially make spaghetti, except you just put the noodles, ricotta cheese, mozzarella, and the sauce in a baking pan and put it in there for like 30 minutes. And you don't really touch it, but I have to watch this. I mean, you have to watch the oven still, but. It's good. I give it like an eight. Hi, girls. Probably like an hour or two later since you last saw me. You last spotted at the gym getting in some rounds. And you're probably thinking, Lee, you didn't do anything. Y'all just lucky I win, okay? I'm proud of me and Madison for going. And I forgot to tell you, girl, why we got a PR box from LaRouche? There's no way I'm going to sleep not knowing what is in this box. This. This is massive. They know me. They sent me the La Rouge Pousset Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin, body, and face. Baby, they know. They know me. They be watching. Because one thing about La Rouge, they gonna comment and make sure that it's known that they're up under them videos that I tagged them in. My go to the La Rouge Purifying Cleanser. I'm sorry if the lighting keeps changing my TVs on. Actually, let me actually make the light a little bit better. I don't want to give you like an aneurysm. Using my Philips Hue light system did you see that come on just now no you didn't see any of that come on okay this tv's pissing me off girl like i just the flashing lights it's pissing me off so i know it's pissing you off this is my ride or die i just bought another bottle of this not long ago and when i tell you it takes me so long to get through this because every time i use it i only use one pump maybe two if my face is feeling extra 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 nasty if you're thinking of buying this do it because i bought the bottle that i'm using upstairs because it's that good and it lasts forever. Like, think of it as an investment in your skin and your future, your mental health. Like, it's be 12 o'clock. I sure am giddy as I don't know what. They also sent me another double repair matte moisturizer. It's given they sent me a full routine. Y'all know I love this stuff. Please, ride or die. Once again, not gonna speak too much about it. Then they sent me something new. This is the Cystoplast Balm B5 Soothing Therapeutic Multipurpose Cream cream with shea butter and made it i can't say that last word if you even see it i don't even know if you could see it but it temporarily protects and helps relieve cracked chapped chafed skin i'm sorry it's laundry upstairs it's bad tv lighting guys this is night in my house this is giving i use this on my feet not gonna sit up here and lie because my feet do be dry y'all know this we talked about this already I'm showing mad neck. I'm so sorry. This is also new to me. They sent me the La Rouge Pousset Niacinamide Serum with anti-aging concentrate and clarifying rebalancing, which is pure niacinamide, guys. And then they sent me the La Rouge Pousset Vitamin C Serum. And this just helps with brightening, to my knowledge at least. And they sent me my favorite SPF. Best SPF to hit the market. As somebody who's fair skinned, I, when it comes to testing, if there's like a white cast, I can't attest to anything. So what I'll do is like give it to like my boyfriend because he's obviously not fair skinned. Not give it to him, but put it on him and see how it holds up. So I will say this did good on both of our skin tones, like for reference. So if you're ever looking for a good SPF that's 60 instead of like 30 or 50, that's really lightweight, definitely try this out. It's really good. Thank you, LaRouche, for sending this to me. One thing about LaRouche, they're gonna send me a PR package. Like, do you see how much stuff this is? It's getting to be about that time in the night where I head to sleep. So I think I'm just gonna close the video here because I'm already showered. Like, I did my shower routine. If you're wondering, I use the Dr. Bronner Citrus. I use my Slip Acid body wash, and then I also use my Kapari body wash with my Kapari body butter. It feels so good. I smell so good. And then I just use some CeraVe um, SA cream on my face because it has been a little dry, specifically around my nose. And I actually have to put my earrings back in. Probably should have put them on my ears. Actually, I'm about to bust this open right now and put this on my ears. Because for some reason, my ears, when I took my studs out this morning, they were super dry. I have titanium studs in my ears, I usually do. Um, I took my hoops out when I went to the gym because girl, you can have the makeup on because I didn't give myself time to take it off. But hoops is where we draw the line, baby. Like that, now you're just doing a little too much. If there's any reason that my piercing will be dry, um, please let me know. But I'm gonna try this on my ears tonight. We don't need that much. I probably need about that much per ear. Not gonna sit up here and lie. It wasn't even like crusty. It was more like flaky if that makes sense and i'm not really sure sorry i'm looking at my phone i'm not really sure like what causes that it was mainly on the front yeah it was only on this ear in the front 
So where I'm rubbing right now. So I'm not really sure what was going on with that, but it looked like it calmed down a little bit. So I'm not really upset about that though. Whatever. So we'll see how this does um, the next couple of nights because oh, I should put some on my nose too. I'm gonna put some on my nose piercing. All my nose piercing or all my piercings period are just super dry. I don't know what it is because I feel like I douse them in product. So I'm not really sure what's causing dryness. I try to exfoliate them, not with like physical scrubbing exfoliants, but like other exfoliants such as like um, toners um, and stuff like that. Maybe I should just use a physical one. Let me know what y'all think. When I say physical, I mean like a scrub, like with big scrubbing beads. Like, I'm not saying I would use Tree Hut on that area of my face, but like Tree Hut, like you know that type of feeling or um ingredient, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just wanted to come down and say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I feel like I leave so many lives today and it was just an entire trip. So I appreciate you for hanging out with me. Um, I'm sorry for the way the audio sounded on this camera all video, but if you stuck around and dealt with it, thank you so much. I appreciate you because girl, one thing about me, I can't tolerate bad audio. And not saying this audio is bad, but I've had better. Definitely noted that for next time I vlog. So definitely disregard that. But anyways, thank you so much again for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought. And once again, I got my PO box up. What's up? Send me a letter. Let's talk. Let's chat. And make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn those bell notifications on and take all notifications. Because if you don't, you will not get all notifications for when I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Just a little timer on. Put a little timer on. Aliyah's new YouTube video every Wednesday at 5 p.m. And then Sunday, just so on for like 8 a.m. New Aliyah video today. Or just follow my spam. So that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I had so much fun hanging out with you today. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.